Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. So today I would like to share about elliptical orbit and Hendrix Viva equation. So in elliptical orbit we have two axes. Okay, first one we call major axis represented by A, and another one is semi minor axis represented by C. Okay, so the line between A prime and A we call major axis, okay, and the line between here and here we call minor axis, okay, and the focus is located either here, the left, or here, at the right, okay, and center is here, represented by C. The location of the object in the elliptical orbit is represented by this equation in Cartesian coordinates. X represents the X as this, Y represents the Y as this from the semi-major. Okay? And the eccentricity of the sh or the shape of the elliptical is given by this equation 1 minus B square minus A square third. So for this context, if B is equal to a b equal to a meaning uh, b and a has b and a have the same size so it will be sphere so if b equal to a so we substitute here a so a divided by a equal to one so it equal to one so one minus one equal to zero so meaning that when e equal to zero meaning that it is a perfect circular okay and <coughs> so the e for elliptical must be bigger than zero and less than one okay so the angular position is given by r represent the distance from center to the object or location of the object and theta okay is the angle with the semi major to a vector distance okay for the distant periaxis, which is the sh uh, shorter distance from the object to the focus, is given by this equation. And the distance for apoapsis, the location, the farthest location of object to the focus is given by this equation. Okay, and eccentricity also can be obtained from the ratio of periaxis and apoapsis. Okay. To determine the position of the orbits, we have to learn a little bit about eccentric anomaly and true anomaly. Okay, so eccentric anomaly referring to object. Okay, P, let's say P is the location of object, where we use C, center, as our reference. Okay, so the angle of P, okay, from the semi major, which is E, we call this one is eccentric anomaly. If position of body, okay, uh, we use focal as a reference, okay, so the angle from semi-major, my um, semi-major, to the uh, position of a body, P, we call this angle, F, so we call it true anomaly, okay, and the distance between focus, F, and C, here, okay. We can calculate by A, which is A is a semi, A here, semi major, times E, the eccentricity of the elliptical orbit, okay? And the distance from the focus here to the body, point P, we can calculate using this equation. So, R is the position of the body, okay? So, long time ago, the ancient astronomers assumed that a planet has a perfect, perfect, perfect orbit. So, that's why, and they try to predict its position, okay? And they use a uh, circular, which is C as a center, as uh, their reference, okay? But, uh, 
uh, but finally uh, the Kepler's found that the planet orbiting using the uh, uh, follow the elliptical orbit so uh, in the center of reference okay which is a focal length is considered it's not center of the uh, orbit okay so that's why we call the true anapoly due to the elliptical uh, orbit which is we use uh, focus as a reference okay and that's why we call c the e we call eccentric anomaly okay okay so the relationship between true anomaly f and the eccentric anomaly is is given by this equation okay and the relationship between radius r Okay, which is refer to the distance between sun and a planet or the center of mass to the other body. Okay, and the true anomaly, okay, E, uh, okay, the F, okay, so it's given by this equation. Okay, so if we know the A, semi major, okay, A, semi major, and we know the eccentricity, E, and we know the F, which is true anomaly so we can find the distance of the uh, body from the uh, from the uh, sun lah, for this contact we are talking about the sun okay so now we look at a vis viva equation <coughs> in vis viva equation we can calculate the orbital period and also the velocity of a body when it's orbiting uh, through the elliptical orbit, okay. So from this equation, okay, A is a semi-major, and nu is a constant between a gravitational parameter and also um, the mass of the uh, the mass at the center, okay, the mass at the the center of mass here, okay, and velocity also you can obtain by uh, this equation which is r referring to the distance of the body to the center of mass here and also semi major okay so the new is actually is gm okay the new is equal to gm as now you see the new is equal to gm which is the gravitational constant for this context mass is a uh, our center of mass so the m is referring to the mass of the sun if the center of mass is the sun okay so we're using mass of the sun okay and at a distance between planet and the sun okay a is a semi major okay semi major okay for uh, when the sun is become a, a center of mass for this elliptical orbit here so the value of gm is 1.33 times 10 to the of 20 meter cube per second square okay if the earth is the center of the mass okay if the earth is the center of the mass and so the other uh, object uh, orbiting the earth like a satellite so the value of gm will be different which is gm value is 3.986 times 10 to of 14 okay so from which viva equation we can calculate the speed of object okay while orbiting the the center of mass which is for the contact the sun okay and the period we can obtain by Kepler's second law which is this equation okay if we use a in a, a meter okay as a unit so we use this equation so g and m uh, value just now three uh, i know i forgot it's not 3, eh? 1.33. 1.33 1 .3 times 10 to the power of 20. Okay, GM value. Okay, if the uh, A in SI unit, which is meter. Okay, but if A in AU, astronomical unit, so this equation become this one. For this equation, we will obtain T in second. Uh, but if we use this equation, Okay, and use A in AU unit. Okay, so we will obtain the answer T in year. 
Okay. Okay, so this example, how to use the elliptic, elliptical orbit equation. And also with VI equation, let's say we have an asteroid orbiting the sun. Okay, the, this, the first uh, initial location is 2 AU at the true anomaly, 0 degree. And when it's moving to the next uh, position, is is actually R2, which is 3 AU, when it at true log anomaly at 5 equal to 90 degree. Okay. So you can draw. Okay. So firstly, okay, this center of mass. Okay. So center of mass here. Okay. Let's see the sun. Okay. So firstly, 2 AU. Okay. Firstly, at 0 degree here. 2 AU. Okay. And it's moving. And then it's become 3. So must be greater than to AU here. So this is the object here. Okay, so 3 AU, which is this one is 90 degree. Okay, so the orbit is like this. Lah. Okay, okay, so find the eccentricity, major axis and semi minor axis. Okay, and orbital period. Okay, so we have you to use the elliptical orbit equation and also Kepler's law and find the distance. This one we use the elliptical orbit equation and calculate the velocity. This one we use the Wisby bar equation. So, firstly, we know the initial position is R1. Okay, R1 where the true anomaly F equal to 0. Okay, so R1 when F equal to 0 is equal to 2. Okay, and we know the next location here is a R2. Okay, where is rest true anomaly is 90 degree. Okay, which is R2 is equal to 3. So we use the equation to find the distance using the true anomaly. Okay, so we know uh, the F is cos F. So this is R. So R equal to the initial R equal to A. 1 minus e square. So, this is the general equation. Divide by 1 plus centricity cos f. Okay. So, from this equation, we know f is 0. Okay. And the first condition r is 2 au. So, we just substitute 2 and 0 here. And second one, do the same thing. The same equation. Apply the same equation. But right now, it's second condition which is r become 3 and the f is 90 okay so cos 0 is 1 so cos 0 is 1 so e time 1 is e okay and this one cos 90 degree is equal to 0 so this one become 0 so 1 plus 0 is 1 lah so anything anything divided by 1 actually the same lah so that's why we can Remove one. Okay, so we have the at the right we get this equation, at the left we get this equation. So here we see a and this one is equal to this one. Okay, so you can so three is equal to all of this. Okay, so we can substitute three to here. Okay, so you will obtain two equal to three divided by one plus e. Okay, ni tak ada ni. This is nothing. Okay. So 1 plus E. So E, you want to find 2 E, you just bring this equation to the left. Okay. 1 plus E equal to 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5. Okay. And E equal to 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1 equal to 0 0.5. How to calculate the semi major? So you just use this equation okay or this equation uh, okay but this one is more simple so just use this equation you just substitute e to this equation okay and you calculate a okay so you will find a equal to 4 